Hello friends, today we will discuss about the transpiration in plants. Initially we will discuss about the brief process of the transpiration, then we will go into the types of transpiration we have, then we will we'll see the uh, importance of transpiration in the plants and a small example depicting the transpiration process. First we will uh, see what is the transpiration and uh, its effect on the plant. For example, this is a plant, this is a plant, this is stem structure and this is a roots. The roots are deep in the soil and it has all the fibrous structure which consists of lot of uh, uh, hairy roots are there and these are the leaf surface. These are the leaf surface. Now, uh, this forms the below the soil. This is below the soil, and this is from this from the aerial part of the plant surface. Now, explaining the transpiration process, we can say it is defined as a process by which plant loses water in the form of vapors from the aerial parts of the plant. In the aerial portion, the plant loses the water in the form of vapors. It evaporates. It's a process of evaporation. Now, all the tiny root hairs and root uh, water absorption take the state place, and with the help of the conducting tissues of vascular bundle, and the uh, water is translocated to the topmost part and the part where the photosynthesis takes place. And here, on here, the uh, process of evaporation takes place. And in the presence of, uh, say, if the sunlight is there, the process of evaporation takes place. That evaporation to atmosphere from the surface of the leaf, uh, it can be called as uh, transpiration. This is a transpiration. So the water moving up, and from there, it is going to the atmosphere. That forms the transpiration process. Now, this transpiration uh, can be divided into three parts. And divided into one, what is cuticular transpiration, then it is lenticular transpiration, then third is somatal transpiration. Three types of transpirations are there. We will discuss each transpiration process in the plant individually. Suppose this cuticular transpiration, this is a transpiration which is taking place from the upper surface and lower surface of the of the leaf, which is a cuticle part. This from the cuticle part. And the transfer which takes place from this part is called cuticular transpiration. This amounts for approximately 20% of water loss in the plant. The second transpiration is a lenticular transpiration. The lenticular transpiration takes place from the pores on the surface of the stem. It can be pores on the surface of the stem or the green part of the stem. That may be a green shoot may be there and the transpiration which takes place from here is called lent uh, from the lenticel. The transmit takes from the lenticel that is called lenticular transpiration. So this amounts for approximately one to five percent of the total transpiration loss in the plant. The third uh, major transpiration is the somatal transpiration. The somatal transpiration takes place from the the somatal pores. The pores um, uh, which is called somatal pore, which is guarded by the guard cell, and this all the um, water which, uh, which uh, is moved into the um, uh, leaf structure, it moves from the mesophyll cells to the um, intercellular spaces, and from there, from the uh, from the guard cell opening and closing, it moves into the atmosphere. Now the closing and opening of the guard cell depends upon the turgidity and the water supply in the plant and uh, when the water supply is less the guard cell closes and this evaporation loss is uh, minimized. So this amounts for you can say 80 to 90 percent of the transpiration loss in the plant. So this forms the three types of transpiration uh, uh, in the plant. Now, why this transpiration is important for a plant? Um, now, if we say and discuss about the importance, first of all, uh, the ascent of sap. It is the upward movement or the capillary movement of water 
from the lower portion from the in the, in the by the through xylem to the upper part the slow movement of capillary movement of water to the xylem to the topmost part this movement is called ascent of sound so this pull is created this osmosis process of pull is created by the transpiration process so this is important for the movement of the water from low portion to upper portion then the second is the, uh, the transpiration helps in removal of excess water in the plant most of the excess water in the plant is removed by the uh, process of transpiration the third is a cooling effect transpiration helps to regulate the temperature of the plant since uh, evaporation reduces the temperature once the evaporation takes place the temperature is reduced the temperature is reduced and it gives a cooling effect for the plant fourth and final most and maybe more small uh, importance are all there but the major these are the importance which uh, we come across absorption and distribution of salt various salt is absorbed continuously absorbed Uh, by the roots and uh, this uh, this continuum of uh, water uh, from low portion to upper portion helps in distributing of the salt and minerals to the plants so these are the four important uh, of the transpiration process now let me explain you with a small example uh, how can we uh, see in our daily life the transpiration process suppose we have a potted plant uh, in our house say this is a plant potted plant in our house everybody has a flower pot at home and this is a say potted plant now if you could cover uh, one side of this plant with a um, polythene sheet we tie up one portion of the Uh, one branch of this plant with a polythene sheet, and other ran, uh, portion remains uh, open. We can also uh, keep a poly bag tight without doing anything. Now, in the presence and put it in the sunlight. If you put uh, this uh, whole structure in the sunlight, your sun rays coming. So after a while, after some time, you will see there is a lot of small small moistures present in the um the sac which is covered with the with, with the, the the leaves or the branch of leaves which is covered with the poly pack and the other which is lying there which is dry there is nothing happening only there is no white moisture in there so that means in presence of heat or sunlight the uh, gradual evaporation of the water takes place and the form of vapor and it settles inside the polythene bag this indicates a small example this indicates the transpiration process in the plant and how the water is moved from the low portion to the upper portion <coughs> excuse me so this is a brief about the transpiration process in plant the next section we will again uh, discuss more about the plant structure and uh, till then thank you very much thank you